AI generated background that you absolutely love. And now you want to find out if you can reuse that very same background for different items or products. Well, the answer is yes, you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. And make sure that you watch this video until the very end because when I was doing my research for this video, I realized that many people don't know that there's one very simple feature on Photo Room that you can use that will allow you to get rid of that issue once and for all. So the other day I took this picture in Paris and then I made this AI generated background of mountains. I love the background, love the colors, it's very moody, very my style. I wanted to reuse the same background for this vase. And how did I do this? I opened Photo Room and I either look for my picture in latest open design or in your content and then when you find your picture you can see that little icon with three dots you tap on it and you choose turn into template when your picture is turned into a template it shows up in your templates yes I know and then all you have to do is tap on that picture and choose apply to images then all you have to do is choose a picture from your camera roll of the different product that you want to put into your old AI background I know what you're thinking right now Kaya this is not the exact same background well no, but wait, 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 you can make it the same. I will show you a couple of tips and tricks. However, one thing that you have to understand is that the way AI works is that it analyzes your picture. It analyzes the shape of your object, the colors, the light, the shadows, and it creates a picture that will make this object, that will make the whole picture look as realistic and as natural as possible. However, there is one very simple trick that you can use to make that background better, more similar to my original background. What you do is that you choose backgrounds, AI backgrounds, create a background. What you see then is Photo Room giving you a couple of pictures with inspiration and place to write down your keywords. But don't worry, you don't have to write keywords. You don't have to start all over again and be like mountains, sunny, you know. What you do is that you scroll to see all. You choose see all and add your own. Add your own means that you can choose your own picture. So in this case, we're gonna choose the AI generated background that I have previously created with myself in these mountains to make Photo Room understand that this is what we want. We want it to achieve similar result. So this feature is called Image Prompt and it's possibly one of the coolest features on Photo Room because it basically allows Photo Room to look at a picture and analyze the picture for you instead of you you know looking for the right thing yourself or trying to explain it with keywords one tip that i can give you is definitely to try to generate a couple of more options don't be afraid to play with it it doesn't always give you the best results on the first try sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it depends so try to generate a couple of options until you find something that you actually like okay so this one is actually very nice what do you think i think it's very similar to my original picture but if you are one of these people who are like okay kaya it's cool but i want the exact same thing what do i do okay let me show you now my blue vase is looking great on this AI background but i also happen to have a white vase and i want to put my white vase into this background there's a little like a cheat like a cheat code that you can use you can save that picture into your camera roll then go into retouch and then just brush it over and make that vase disappear, make that blue vase disappear. I take a picture of my white vase, I remove the background, I save it with transparent background. I choose background and as background, I can choose whatever I saved in my camera roll. And here you go. You've used the same AI background on different objects. And finally, the most important thing that you have to know is that when you're using Photo Room, you don't have to waste your time generating AI background individually for each picture. What you can do is that you can take all your product shots, you can take up to 50 different product shots and generate AI backgrounds at the same time for all these pictures. However, 
What I realized when I was doing research for this video, as I told you in the very beginning, is that many people are not aware of the fact that this is a feature which for now is available only on photo room for your desktop, for your computer. So for this part of the tutorial, let's move to my computer. Before we do that, for those of you that don't know how you can log into photo room on your computer, it's super simple. All you have to do is go to photoroom.com, choose login, and here you have to remember to choose the same login option that you chose on the app so if you chose email you choose that if you choose google you choose that okay so go to batch and here you can select up to 50 different pictures so i'm gonna choose all these pictures up half of my beautiful colorful cups and you can edit them all at the same time so photo room removes the background for you what i will do first is that i will position them in the center so they're all exact same size and they look exact the same and then you can go to creating ai backgrounds and you can generate backgrounds for all these cups at the same time i'm gonna go for marble because marble is always a good idea and see it basically did the exact same ai background for all these cups up here you can download all these images at the same time i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any other questions feel free to let us know in the comment section down below we'll definitely help you out and if there are any other video wishes that you have is there anything that you would like to see on this channel please let me know that's the best thing about youtube for me that we can actually have a conversation and as always let me know if you actually tried the tips that we shared in this video and if it worked for you i'm curious to know and i will see you soon bye